Yo, what's going on, 67? Let us put it over here doing a ranked 1v1, and it is try hard Thursday. So I'm gonna start it off with a bit of a Baka game. Uh, by the way, I said this before, but I will say it one more time. Uh, make sure that if you do want to get the tier 5 Hades skin, you are going to my Nexus link. If you're if you're a PC, it only it doesn't work for console yet, but if you're PC, make sure you go into my Nexus link and you're buying your gems. They're on sale right now. And I get a portion of the money and you have to pay no extra thing. So you support me and you get cheaper gems and you get tier five Hades. It's a win, win, win. <clears throat> but I figured I'd say that real quick. Um, No face cam because it is 3 a.m. I went to sleep. I slept for about an hour and a half to two hours. Then I woke up feeling very very sick like very nauseous migraine headache a bad tum tums if you know what i mean so it wasn't very dope that's for sure but you know what it gets me recording it gets me recording and i am a-okay -okay with that by the way follow my instagram the link is on screen because uh, I am giving away that Discordia code. The um, the new Discordia again, uh, again, new Discordia skin. Sorry, words really aren't my forte at the moment. At 3 a.m., but um, yeah, we're giving away the new Discordia skin, and for those uh, few people that don't actually have the God Pack. We're also giving codes away for the new god release and the recolors of said new god Ishtar. So make sure you follow the Instagram. We're going to post that pretty soon once this video goes up. So I don't think you are in any position to fight me like literally ever. Yeah, you just got to run my guy. You are not in a position to win a fight right now. Uh, you have alt now. Maybe you are in a position. Okay. I'm simply going to walk away. I'm simply going to walk away. You did my blue. No worries by me, mate. Uh, I wonder how much healing he got from that. Because if he actually got a lot of healing, and I can't get... Uh, he got a decent amount of healing. I actually think I'm okay, though. I was going to say, there's no way you're giving me a uh, red buff, right? Oh, you are just giving it. Well, actually... In his defense, what's he going to do? Right? Like, honestly. And I I don't mean that, like, in a cringy, like, haha, <laughs> I'm so alpha, you can't mess with me. I Like, I can eat a buff with 350 HP at level 3. What are you going to do? How are you going to how are you gonna take that buff? I say he made the right decision. I say he said, you know what? I can't take that buff. You, you win this round, chief. I'll go get the wave. You get the buff. And we'll call it, we'll call it even. We'll call it split skis. I think that was a, a good decision. Now, can you win a fight against me? Absolutely not. Maybe, actually. <laughs> he does have Transcendence Finish, which I wasn't expecting. Maybe he can. I don't know. I'm down to try it. You want to try it with me? No. Okay. Now you want to try it? Uh, all right. Not actually able to get the kill there. But, I mean, it wasn't bad. I am ahead a pretty decent amount. I have my first blood kill. Oh, God, excuse me. I have my first blood kill. He does have alt. I just got to make sure that if he ults me, I have an escape route. 
aka jumping over a wall in a manner that he cannot follow and if he does he either loses the fight or uh like right now i i do so much more damage than you if you don't use your three you don't win this okay. so the reason he didn't use his three there is because he expected me to lose that fight and have to jump over the wall in that scenario where I lose the fight and I have to jump over the wall, obviously he wants his three up to chase me. However, I am Bakasura with, with a maxed out three. My three does 70 extra true damage per auto attack, not to mention the power that it gives me on top of my already, my already 70 power. So, I, I'm pretty sure you don't win this one either, man. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be more careful with your with your Bakasura fights. Bakasura does a lot, man. He does he does a lot of damage. I think I might actually just go hasten. Why the why the sad face, man? I mean. I guess you're not having a great time losing, but I'm not like trolling you or anything. I'm, I'm tryharding. It's Thursday. Don't be sad. Be haps. Be haps, dude. Bro, I finished. Uh, what is the show called? The Boys. I almost called it Homelander. I finished season three of The Boys. And oh my god. If the most, it, it, literally the most powerful man on the planet, potentially the universe, walked up to me and said yummers to my face. I shit you not. I would, I'd be more scared than if he was like choking me out on the wall. Like, how do you, how are you not petrified? If Homelander walks up to you, looks you dead in the eyes and says yummers and smacks his lips. Like what the fuck? I don't know. That, that's all I'm going to say because I'm not going to spoil anything, but... Oh my gosh. That guy is so good at playing that role. And... It's crazy because that's like... A, that's a hard role to play, I feel like. To be... I guess... To play a role where you are the... Hey, <clears throat> excuse me. Hated, but so desperately want to be liked character. Like, that's got to be hard to get into. I do not think you win this. Never mind, my three ran out. He ran away anyways. Dude, I have so much gold. Can we fight? You and I. I'm just gonna back. You're not gonna let me? No? What what was that? What was that? It's like he could he couldn't decide on if he wanted to let me back or not. I respect it. I respect it. I respect a little bit of a uh maybe I'm not gonna let you back mentality. Granted, you would have died doing it, but I've done the same thing. I've done the exact same thing. I've stopped somebody's back and died to them within five seconds. Like, <laughs> sometimes it's better to let them back, but it never really feels like it. You really do not hurt. And I feel like I hurt you so much, Broham. 
There's no shot. What are you doing? We're letting the minions go in. There it is, baby. There it is. In case you're wondering why all I did was run away there, I was taking damage from his stuff, but not from his auto attacks because he doesn't have, um, he doesn't have, what is it called? Oh, I'm dead here. What is it called? He doesn't have hastened, hastened katana. That's what I'm trying to say. So I wasn't taking damage from his auto attacks as much as I was his other abilities. And uh, I knew that if I waited long enough for my three to come back up, I could potentially turn it after his three was down. I don't want to fight him while his three is up because not only does it give him mitigation, which I don't think I can fight into, but it also gives him um, extremely fast ticks of damage which will heal him more and deal more damage to me in his ult. So there's, uh, there's no point in me damaging him while he's healing a lot. You know what I mean? So instead, I just ran away, tried to take as little damage as possible so that when I was ready to turn, I had the best possible option. I'm surprised he didn't do Bull Demon. I expected him to. We got red buff, which, you know, I also expected him to. I don't think red buff is worth anything for him. If you don't care, I'm going to take this now. And I will take this. Oh. Wow, you are mad. Uh, you do not win this. Yeah, I got, I got a Kins and a full serrated edge last back. I'm doing an ungodly amount of damage. All right. Unfortunately, I cannot end just yet. Oh my God, he even took the XP camp. I think what I'm going to do is just go breastplate. Just get a little bit of defense online. Also, I apologize if I'm a bit quiet. Like I said, it is 3 a.m. So. Waking Shiv is not something I would like to do. Also, we have to go to the gym in the morning. So, well, I guess it is the morning, but we're going to the gym when Shiv wakes up. And she has not been sleeping for the past couple days, so. Is this for YouTube? Yes, sir, it is. Yes. GG, brother. Can you not post it? <laughs> it's in... My tryhard Thursday. This is kind of sad. I'm sorry, man. It's okay, though. Don't worry. I was Bakasura. Everyone knows Bakasura is super OP in duel, especially on this map when you can actually go around and, you know, eat all the buffs. So I wouldn't worry about the loss too much. Head up, King. GG, head up, King. See you guys in game number two. Welcome back to game number two, boys. How you doing? And uh, it occurred to me that I was number one Fenrir in the world when this map was out last time. So I'm thinking, I don't know really what happened to Fenrir or what happened to the items or how I used to build Fenrir or how I used to play Fenrir. But I probably still got it, right? So I'm going to lock in a Fenrir game this, this game. And uh, I don't know. Hope all goes well, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's really it. I lock in, and I hope everything works. My only hope is he doesn't pick on her, because I would be sad. Because on her is quite good against Fenrir. Where's my dog? There he is. 
Well, quite honestly, I hate that. <clears throat> I'm not. I'm not in love with the uh, with the low Q pick. Disgusting. Disgusting. Okay. I'm gonna go Golden Blade. You might be asking yourself, Sam, why are you going Golden Blade when you are Fenrir? Well, there's two reasons. One, it will help me find out where he is when I'm auto in the wave. Two, I can clear the wave while still having my abilities up for the fight that I will need my abilities up for. And um, <clears throat> three, because I, with Aussie, with Golden Blade, <clears throat> I can afford to go double defense and it not really stifle all my damage as opposed to when you're building full power skipping out on a power item does hurt your build quite a bit more so that's my thought process I hope he didn't take my blue I will be sad nice All right, slowly but surely, whittle my buff down. Did you double buff? I feel like he, there's no way he double buffed, right? Yeah, I'm like really far ahead in gold. There's no way he double buffed. Also, maximum my three gives me a lot of damage. Because there's no way Loki can get out of my three. Like, look at this. Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not just now, but... You got beats? You do. No, I can't be that upset because I got my golden blade. I did like chug potions. Like I absolutely gargled some potions, but I got my golden blade online. So my clear is going to be a lot better. My attack speed is going to be a lot better. My movement speed is going to be a lot better. I'm feeling pretty good in that regard. And he didn't hit his power spike. All he got is a chalice and a couple more pots. So I'm chilling, man. I'm feeling quite confident. He is going to go for his speed buff. That he never got. I am going to go for my uh, my red buff. Yes, it is my red buff. Oh, shit. Hold on. Uh, you don't stand a chance. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Is this up? No. Oh, it just spawned. Let's go, dude. If I remember right, I can do it through one of these walls. Yeah, there we go. You have no beads. And also, I'm pretty sure you just have no way to kill me. I'm going to pick up this blue. My three will kill him again. By the way. If he stays. Actually, he has a lot more HP than I thought he did. Alright. Can you do anything to me here? I mean, we got about half his power down, and I really didn't have to do anything about it. Like, if you think about it, realistically, the only thing I'm doing is, like, somewhat bullying. Yeah, now I might be able to get power here. 
Oh my gosh, okay. Oh no, oh god. Holy crap, that damage. Not not the Loki's damage, but the tower damage. I can't believe he ulted it, man. That is quite unexpected. Out of all the things he could have done, ulting it was not something I, I actually expected him to do. If anything, I would have figured maybe he'd wait for me to like push my luck a little bit more. And then he would go for it. Hold on. Sorry, I gotta respond to a text real quick. <clears throat> All right. Like maybe he would like let my minions die to tower a little bit. And then after my minions die to tower, just immediately ult me before I take his tower. And maybe he can win that fight. Maybe he can turn it after I've taken one or two tower shots. That could potentially work. But for now, I guess we're just going to keep clearing. Red buff might be up, but uh, oh yeah, I'm just being like hella aggressive. Oh. Right, he wanted blue buff. Clearly, you are not allowed to get blue buff. Oh my god, bro. I do so much damage. It's crazy because, like, I don't know. I hit my three twice, and it did 800 damage. But if you really think about it, I have 35 power and 30% cooldown. This build is really strong. I don't really care about my screen being annoying. As long as I'm not dying, I'm chilling. Your speed buff up can't see the wall's too tall no it's not no it's not so i'll just go do this red buff you up no oh my god nothing's up dude nothing is up just gonna auto this wave down i think i want to go serrated for my next item it's gonna give me good pen a uh, decent amount of power. It'll give me good pen, decent amount of power, and uh, a little bit of life steal. I'm not sure that I can do this bull demon in time, though. Because, like I said, I really don't actually do that much damage. Nice. All right. I'm kind of winning. Nice. I did win that fight. Uh, attack speed. It's not under attack speed. It doesn't give you any attack speed. 2650. So I'll tell you what. I'll clear the wave. I'll get the red. I'll back for serrated and then uh, with serrated hopefully I still have enough time to get your phoenix down there's a good chance I don't honestly but uh, I'm gonna go berserker shield to increase my odds he went high to the Nemean. that doesn't even give you a stack that has to be, at, at minimum, your second item. Is it only a 70 protection, and you only get a stack when you have 80 protection from items or abilities. Also, Hide of the Nemean got hella nerfed, so it's really not worth anything anymore. I can't get this. Oh, but I can't bait him. 
Oh, I took a second Phoenix shot. I don't know if I win this fight anymore. No, I'm pretty sure I do. I have a lot of life steal. I have a lot of life steal and a lot of damage. Thank you, Serrated. Thank you, Serrated. That's through his Hide of the Nemean, by the way. This will 100% be a Phoenix. Maybe. Like I said, 100%. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Oh, shit. Oh, he just ran away. Okay. No, I'll take it. I thought he was going to go like full on aggro on me and kick my ass. But if you let me live, I will take it. I will take it. Now I could go something else, but I think I'm just going to go XE. I was thinking initially I could just go like, um, more power or even just a Jotun's. Because it would cap my cooldown out. It's obviously 2020. But. <clears throat> I think I want to stick with the attack speed build so far. Because I feel like. With the speed buff giving 10% attack speed as well. Like we're feeling pretty damn good auto attacking. I actually feel like I don't even need to use an ability. And I could still out trade this Loki. Okay. Okay, well, I don't have to feel like that when I can actually just straight up prove it. 10 auto attacks for an average of 160 per auto. Not bad, dude. Not bad. While tanking the Titan and the Loki and still having 1400 HP afterwards. That's pretty insane. Anyways, I'll see you guys in game number three. Thanks for watching so far. What is going on, my sex demon gamers? How are you guys doing? Game number three coming in. Um, I messed up my bands a bit. So, Hoi is open. Which means I have to play him, which I'm not happy about. Because I don't like playing Hoi that, that much. Um, I'm, I'm okay at him. Like, I hit my stuff. I know some bounces. I can get a little bit cheeky with it, but... It never feels that good, you know, because most of the time, and I, I don't mean all the time, but most of the time you hit the triple bounces, it's like pure luck. Sometimes you're like, I calculated the shit out of that. But a lot of times you're like, okay, he walked into it when he shouldn't have walked that way, but he did and then he died because of it, you know? No so, like your own you know, it's good, but it's not great. Also, I have 500 mana. I'm thinking, what if... I just triple bounce. And yes, I do still know the triple bounce spots in this map. I don't know why my brain stored the information for literal years. But here we are. <laughs> yeah, here we are. I know the triple bounce locations in all of the maps... With Hoi, a god that I literally perma ban, it doesn't make sense to me. Hopefully, it makes sense to you. All right, one more auto. Now I will triple bounce a blue. Ba pow. The reason I want speed buff, by the way, is because the 10%. Oh, okay. I walked right into it. 10% attack. Speed. Why do you have a shield on? Your tower is under 
Okay, I understand it. Truly, I do. But, like... If you're gonna be that aggressive, you gotta back it up, my guy. Okay, you're dead. Okay, I missed. Now I'm dead? Perfect. I had to go silent because I didn't want to whiff anything that I didn't need to, to mess up. But, um, yeah, basically, I did both of my buffs, so I hit level 5, and he only had time to do one of his buffs, so he didn't hit level 5. So all I had to do was make sure that that alt zoned him towards, like, towards my direction and not away from my direction. And uh, by zoning him towards me, I get a significant increase in uh, likelihood to kill because he's going to also be tanking my wave and if he uses his abilities to kill my wave then he has no chance to kill me okay this I do not understand other than like anger I guess I could see him just being angry that I killed him and ulting me but like dropping Argus like that seems like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense Spam laughing me, bro. The spirits of the woods. You spam laughing me, bro. At least get a kill before you spam laugh. I think this is a triple bounce, correct? Maybe I have to do it from this side. It's a it is a triple bounce. I just have to bring it closer. I remembered there was one for red. I just had to find it again. God, I don't know why my brain stores this shit. Honestly, it's not like it's cool information, you know, it's not like how to drive a motorcycle and get bitches 101. It's, it's like a triple bounce with a god you don't play on a map that's not out for four years. Like, what's the point? Why hold it in there? I guess I'm glad about it so I don't have to relearn it all the fucking time. But... Still, it's kind of dorky, isn't it? <laughs> And I, I guess, why am I acting like everything I do is in dorky? Why did I miss that one, bro? Wait, I think I win this. No. Wait, I want to get the stack off Argus. No, my stack. Nice. You are very aggressive for a Hera. You are so aggressive as a Hera. Why? I fucked it up. I don't know. But you know what I do know? Is that with Transcendence, I'm doing a massive amounts of numbies. Boop. And boop. And boop. Perfect. Man, I really like the damage I'm doing to her. Although, she probably does have Argus up soon, huh? Oh, that was supposed to go back. Immune. Yeah. Yeah, you really think laughing is the play there? I don't know about that one, man. You beadsed and ulted and still lost the fight. I'm interested to see what he has to say at the end of the game. Or if he says anything at all.
whatever I, ca I can't be asked i can't be bothered about the triple bounce i'll just double bounce it from now on I never knew we had such weapons. i'm not going kins i'm gonna go aussie first all right now that i'm like further in the game i don't really need the triple bounce i can just double bounce and i do enough damage that it's fine i also feel like is he just sitting in base when he has the option to surrender guys i don't where is he what if he's doing bold even oh my found him hello hello best friend You got, you got Emperor's armor. <laughs> Just walked straight into the double bounce. Walked straight into the double bounce. That one was actually calculated. I do know my bounces off of towers really well. Now, whether that bounce was going to hit him or not, I didn't know. But I didn't know for a fact that the double bounce was going in the right direction to hit him. The spirits of the woods. Why are you laughing? I'll never understand it. Why laugh while losing? It's not like people are going to think you're cool. I don't know. I'll never understand it. I will never understand it. I'm gonna go beads just so when he uh when he does the, the, the thingy, the polymorph thing, I can just beads out of it and fight him. Those minions are killing each other. I don't need to worry about it. Baboon. And then I guess I, mean, I just fight him, right? I actually was not expecting to kill him there. I was just going to go to Bull Demon, but he really didn't want me to lose. Or he didn't want to lose the red buff. Man, I do a lot of damage. He's actually spam laughing. I don't understand. <laughs> Spam laughing only makes me upset if they've like, if they're, if they're, if they killed me, it makes me upset if they're laugh spamming on my corpse. Like if they killed me and then they laugh spam on top of me, that makes me mad. But like when I'm dumping all over you, it like, I cannot be bothered. It is kind of funny actually. I'm interested to see what he says more than anything at the end of the game. Like, I want to win the game quickly. Not because I'm like, haha, look how bad I beat you. Because I just want to see what he says to me. Can I have that, that speed buff? Dude, I like five hit his Argus. So Alright. He surrendered when his Titan was one HP. Darn tootin'. Did he just say, fuck it, I have great reflexes? Was that what he just said? <laughs> no shot at what he just said that. I want to see what he says.
maybe he's just really kind and he likes the, the like Hera's laugh and he's not actually like rude to me let's see gg pick try hard yeah but Hera. oh he left okay well i mean he's not wrong i think hoi is more try hard than Hera, but Hera is still try hard i think you know second item emperor's armor isn't really the play who knows anyways i'll see you guys in the next game yo what's up boys welcome back and boom look at that i got a diamond border suck your homie online for one of the last games of the video might be the last game of the video i'm not sure um really just depends on how long this game goes i think but yeah i got a diamond border sukiyomi so i really really am proud of it because diamond borders are hard to get nowadays I'm fighting a Skustin again. I think I, I just fought this guy, right? Nah, he wasn't the Hera. He was the guy before the Hera. He was a he was a he was a homie. He was a homie. Bro, you know what's interesting? When you go to popular items, they have tier two hydras here and not tier two transcendence. So you go to buy this item. And it buys hydras obviously heart seeker is right there too which you could click on but that's like if you have brain cells and i normally don't i keep doing this i keep getting my three instead of two points in my one i i think putting two points in your one instead of getting your three is better now since there's no blue stone your three was definitely better when there was blue stone but now that there's no bluey I think just getting an extra point in your one is better. I'm gonna go one buff this this time, by the way. Instead of double up. I assume he's probably gonna double up. Being Kamazots and all. Oh no. It's actually extremely interesting. We're just trading wave clear right now. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, thank God that didn't hit me. You have jump? Oh, you do. Damn, I do a lot of damage, though. Oh, he's going Soul Eater. I've always wanted to do that. A Soul Eater start, but I just can't ever bring myself to do it because I know. I know I'll go Soul Eater and I'll be like, damn, I wish I had more damage. And. I win Transcendence, you know? <laughs> I feel like Soul Eater is one of those things where you go it and it's never bad, but you always feel like it could be better. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm delusional. Maybe you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. I still got a lot of pots. Soul Leader, you definitely need, like, Transcendence with. I think Soul Leader on its own is good, but not great. I think Soul Leader paired with Transcendence is great. Especially now that there's no, like, starter items where people can just, like, paint and seal your ass. Yeah, but, like, first item, like, that's the thing. You finish that item, and now you gotta stack it, too. It just doesn't feel very good. Uh, excuse me, Good sir. Oh, wow. That was a, a lot of commitment. Do I win this fight? It's almost not at all, right? Please tell me you don't have any mana for anything. Oh, bro. He's so close. Please tell me you don't have any mana for anything. <laughs> While I auto attack this and slowly gain my mana back and my health. Yeah, he's back. In. Cool. All right. I will back now. I'm going to go transcendence into a soul leader like I was talking about. And grab a health pot while I'm here. Why not? Actually, I can grab a mana pot too since I got to wait for it. 
I got a lot of minions in his tower right now. Bro, his tower's almost dead, actually. My pressure's feeling really good. Ever since wave one, honestly. I don't know how this matchup is, though. You know what, what someone asked me the other day that was really interesting was... Um, Sam, do you think that your Sukuyomi would beat your Poseidon? And I had to think about my play style and I had to think about like how good I am on the gods and how much experience I have and like items that I tend to build. And it was like a really, it, it seems like such a simple question, but I was really like, holy crap. Would my Poseidon beat my Tsukiyumi or vice versa? I, I don't know. I ended up thinking that my Tsukiyumi would win just because my Tsukiyumi is pretty good. And uh, I mean, I'm not saying my Poseidon is bad or anything, but uh, I just think I'm generally like a better Tsukiyumi than I am Poseidon. And I also think physical gods in general are better than ma the magical. So you pit my my best physical god against my best magical. I think my best physical wins. Is this here? It is. Oh, I definitely do not win this fight. Oh gosh, I am deceased. Oh, I am super deceased. Oh, cool. Never mind, I'm okay. How much is Solir? 1500, right? Yes. So I'll drop these. Go back, get my Solitor. He's going Breastplate. I actually vibe on the Breastplate. My only thing is, he's going to have a lot of sustain and a lot of cooldown and shit like that, but like, where's your damage? That's my only thing with his build. I feel like it's lacking damage output. Like his whole, like he has 25 power. <laughs> I mean, like even if he's maxing the one, the one gives you 35 power. So at maximum with a max out one, which actually it seems like he is maxing based on how hard that hit me. But at maximum, um, he only has 60 power to my 103. Now, uh, granted, he has 60 power while having an extra 20% cooldown and you know, also a, a bit extra. Uh, okay, never mind. Is he win contagion? That that one's weird. I don't like the contagion play at all. I think contagion is quite a bad item. Hello. I think contagion is a pretty bad item. The only time I think you should ever buy Contagion is, like, in Conquest. When you can affect multiple people with it, and the value goes up a bit more. But in Duel, it feels so lackluster. Ooh. The two hit me. Big two, big two gonna auto these down Moonlight. Dispel the shadows. blue buff again I think my next item is gonna be probably just a beat stick like there's obviously things like breastplate that I could get that help with the cooldown and whatnot but I mean let's be honest I'm fighting a Kamazots with a chalice of healing and a soul leader. If I don't go beat stick now, I will literally never hear the end of it in my comment section. People are probably already yelling at me for double stacking rather than going beat stick second. Which is fair because you're probably right. I just really wanted to double stack. I missed two of them. Oh, shit. No, come back. No, please. 
Not like this. Nice. I thought he was going to turn and kill me. That's why I got so, so nervous. <laughs> it would have been super awkward if he just turned and beat my ass. Can you imagine? <laughs> All right. Beat stick. Online. Uh, probably just go blink so I can blink stun. I think, honestly, I'm only a couple of wins away from number one Tsukiyomi in the world. Which isn't like a great feat. I don't think getting number one on any god is very hard, honestly. But, uh... I want to see if I can maybe get a Master's Border on Tsukiyomi. I don't know what you need to do to get a Master's Border in ranked anymore. Because it's actually so difficult to get a good Border on any god. But I think I might make that like a personal challenge. Maybe I won't get it this season, but I will get it one of the seasons. I have beats now. You don't scare me. This is probably Phoenix. It's a hundred percent Phoenix. And I can go get my breastplate in like a hundred gold. Mm. If I blink in, I'll probably not get the kill, right? Because he has ult. Yeah. Expected. Could have also just simply jumped it, but I figured he would alt it to avoid the damage. Just based on the way he's been playing. It's kind of crazy how well I have been able to develop, like, behavioral pattern recognition just by playing Smite. Like, a lot of times, I'll know what they're going to do before they even know what they're going to do. Just based on what they've done previously. Which I assume is, like, how fucking all detectives are. Not that I'm calling myself a detective, I guess. But you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyways, I've been recording for an hour and 40 minutes, so I'm hoping that with all the queue times cut out and uh, a pretty bad bathroom break in between, I'm hoping that I uh, that it, I got an hour long video out. Really hoping. I don't know. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, I don't know what just happened to my brain. Um, again, make sure to go follow that Instagram because we are giving away codes. And uh, make sure to follow my Twitch. And if you made it all the way to the end, congratulations. You guys are the first people to understand that I am doing my next 24-hour stream on the 9th of September. It is a Friday, and it starts, as always, 6 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you guys there. Peace.